my name is Jan Shane. I've been involved with the Young Street Mission since 2002. Um, it all began with the children's programs, which I was involved in, and even before that, the women and family programs with Karen. And it was, uh, I, as I grew up, I just kind of got involved with uh, Church of the Mission. Started off doing sound and working with the PowerPoint, and from there it just branched, and I'm just currently continuing it. I'm serving on the worship team. I'm also teaching a media course on Tuesday nights to people from the community and to people from the church. It just teaches the basics of movie making and using media as an expression of worship. One of my biggest interests is music. I have a huge passion and a huge desire to perform and to do different music. I also really love to just serve in the community, help out in whatever way possible, and really just accomplish God's will. In 10 years, I think I'd like to be serving in the community. I'd like to either be serving as a youth pastor or as a worship leader. I really feel God's call into ministry. I hope that people in this community are able to be looked at as people, and that financial barriers, that racial barriers, all these things would be torn down that they wouldn't affect someone's chance to have a hope to just live a happy lifestyle. The strengths and assets that I see in this community are that this community is incredibly diverse, not only in racial types, but also in financial types. There's a huge range of numbers, and somehow it just brings the community into unity still, and I think that's just what makes this community just so wonderful. I think some of the huge challenges in this area are um, just gang violence, there's drug and alcohol abuse in the community. There's also access to resources, which is a huge challenge that this community faces, and mostly that's due to poverty in the community. I've been in this community all my life since I was born, and I've lived with my mom and my dad. And growing up, I've seen a huge change in the community. I've seen the, the, just the overall area go up, I've seen many increases um, just in new stores. I just see the overall level of community rising more. And it just seems like this community is just being brought up out of the ashes into something that is gonna be really good. I think the Regent Park development has been just changing the overall outcome of the community. Ever since it started, it's just been causing a chain reaction in the community that has really brought new banks, new stores to the community, and it's it's just going up in value, it's going up in consumerism, and everything's just going up for the community. My experience at YSM has really just taught me that it's never too late to make a change, that with a lot of prayer, hard work, and even just reaching out in the community and just lending a hand, you can make a huge change and be part of just a phenomenal change in your own community. Young Street Mission and Church at the Mission have shown so much about community to me because they love unconditionally. It's an example of unconditional love. And I think that's just the basis of all community and it really teaches one how to fully engage with their community and become an active part of their community. I would invite a friend to a YSM Academy event because it would really show them and give them a first-hand look at just the, not only the stuff that I do, but the things that thousands of people do to make a change in the community, the easy, simple steps and processes that it takes to be a huge change to make a huge change. I think the top three things that a person can do to make change is really to just have a dream, have a vision, have a goal. To not be bound or have limits against you in any way, shape, or form. The second, I think, is to be able to access key resources that you need to come in contact with people that will help you to really accomplish things. And the third is really to just put effort and drive and motivation behind it. YSM has really supported me in multiple ways. They've supported me emotionally, spiritually, in prayer. They've also given me counseling and helped in so many different ways to really show that the things that I want, I can actually achieve and I can get. My vision for my life has been impacted by my faith in God because it's really always reassured me in times of trouble, in times of doubt, in times when things get difficult, when things get pressing and hard, just to know that God loves me and that God is with me through all trials and tests, it just gives me the strength and encouragement to take another step and keep on going. In the future, the kind of support that I'd like to be able to get from where I am to where I want to be would be prayer support, possibly financial support, and just the continual motivation and encouragement to keep reaching for the stars.